Hi everyone, it's Dina Manzo. Big changes in this past year since I've been off YouTube. Um, first and foremost, I am brunette now, as you can see. It's temporary, I'll be back to blonde soon, so save the comments, but it's all good. It's only hair, right? Anyway, we're gonna start up with my YouTube channel again. I've got a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, I thought maybe we'd start off here in my new home in Beverly Hills, California. I'm actually bi-coastal now. I spend half my time here in California and I love it so much. I'm hoping to be permanently here soon. Um, I go back and forth to the East Coast and I'm just loving California. So we are in a rental here and um, as you can see, it's very different. I'll show you around, but the vibe here is very different than my one in New Jersey. New Jersey had more of like a French feel. Here I'm doing more like a bohemian thing. And I think it's just my personal style is changing as well. Um, I'm not as dolled up as I always am, kind of always in comfortable clothes. And I think that happens as you just get more comfortable in your own skin, which is happening on my spiritual path that tends to happen. So I wanted the vibe to, you know, reflect what I'm feeling personally um, to be in my surroundings as well. So I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to get this bohemian vibe, this bohemian chic that everyone's doing right now and really have it come from an authentic place instead of just um, trying to patch it all together because then it's not going to have the right feeling. It's not going to evoke that really relaxed feeling that the bohemian vibe is supposed to give. So first thing you could do is find some inspiration, whether it's videos like this, magazines. I mean, I just picked up this book yesterday. It's such a cool book. It's the New Bohemian, Cool and Collected Homes. And it's a breakdown of all the different styles of Bohemian that you could do. What I love about this book is it shows the homes and not only um, where they live, but their star signs. And you know I'm so into that astrology thing. So it's really cool to see how like Pisces, like myself, we kind of have a similar vibe when it comes to how we um, make our space that we live in and call our sanctuary. So anyway, I'll give you a few hints, but um, you can see around my house, um, I would never have white sofas in the old house because I have so many animals, but now I've learned different ways of adapting it. The cats are kind of, this is like a no grandma wrinkle zone right here. She's not allowed on this couch at all, but GG, come here. Puppy G, G. He's not cooperating. G, come here. Come here, say hello to everybody. This is G. He's a very messy bulldog and he knows not to go on the sofa. But if he did, guess what? It's a slip cover, could be taken off, could be washed. I also have an alternate color, I got in gray, that I'll change out for like the winter, even though there's not really a major winter here in California. Um, the feel is different. You want to put up a Christmas tree, maybe you want a little bit warmer feel, um, darker tones. So slip covers, again, I'll always tell you to get a neutral sofa, whether it be denim, um, you know, beige, white, whatever you want to do, just have a neutral palette. That way you can switch the pillows on um, every holiday or every uh, season. I just put these Masoni pillows that I picked up on a really great clearance sale. And, um, you know, maybe I'll change them out when holidays come around to do some festive pillows. Um, another thing that you can do is just layering, different layers. You'll see, um, I'll show you some um, examples of the pillows here on this chair. It's just a layer of depth of pillows here as well. Just lots of layers of pillows. That gives you kind of that relaxed bohemian vibe. Trays are my favorite. You can always put fun little things on them. Like we have these hearts, these weathered hearts. And this heart that I'm really attracted to. I tweeted about this one day. It hurts, so it's more like a protect your heart kind of thing, which I love. So trays, just fill them with beautiful, interesting things that you could change out whenever you get bored. One other hint I want to show you is right here, what I picked up. Um, I was at a little show and I saw these tassels. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. This really modern lamp is now very bohemian with these beautiful, colorful tassels hanging. Um, I usually have flowers in here. I'm sorry I don't today. But this again is a very, just a simple apothecary jar covered with some lace and a little bit of beading um, that I really put on. It's a necklace, it's not meant for this, but it is now. And you can see how I just have fun with it and layer. All right, so this is my little sitting room. I'm gonna show you some other rooms in the house um, that you can really get that bohemian vibe for not a lot of money, so follow me. So now we 
are in my dinette. It's not really my dining room. Um, like I said, this is a rental. So what I've been doing is taking my furniture from New York apartment, stuff I had in storage, my old office, and just trying to make it work here. So I have this table. I switch out the chairs again for those oversized, shabby, chic, um, I hate that term, but I guess they are slip covered chairs. I can change these colors whenever I want. If I wanted to make them bright green, I can do that too. Um, underneath they're white. Um, so that's pretty awesome that I can give this a crisp look whenever I want. And what I did in here is very, very simple. First of all, I got myself a really cool, um, rustic looking chandelier. As you remember in my old house in New Jersey, everything was crystal, 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 crystal. So I want to think just a little bit more industrial and easy and simple. Another pin to make it really bohemian and cool is um, just little accents of the unexpected. So I know it's a table that we sit at, we actually eat here, um, but I put little flowers on the back of these chairs. And believe it or not, I know they're very Missoni looking. I'll tilt this one here so you can see it. But this is just a remnant of fabric that I paid maybe $28 for. Fold it up, um, it's a beautiful room. It looks like an expensive blanket. A shabby chic pillow, a little bohemian vibe pillow there. Um, and there's another one there on that, if you can see that. I got it at a thrift shop. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much that one was, but it was under $100. Again, so easy, so inexpensive. Decorating with produce, love to do that. I always have my Buddha and pretty flowers. Um, I usually have flowers much easier, not as designed as that one, but that was a special delivery. And um, the artwork in the back, as you can see, I have the Dalai Lama, which is a great piece that I got in Hamptons um, by an artist named Chris Benning, who's awesome, look him up on Instagram. I actually bought that. I was in a restaurant that his pieces were being showcased, and I saw it on the wall, and I said I need to buy that, and I bought it right off the wall. And those pieces there, this is very bohemian to do. It's just layering small pieces of art. Instead of having one big grand piece or, um, come here Gigi, just making too much noise. Come here buddy. One big piece, you just take different pieces, put them together as a collection. This is a very special collection. I found these in an art show here in Beverly Hills and all the proceeds go to Children's Hospital Children with Cancer. And they are either all painted by a patient or a family member. So being that I'm an advocate of um, children with cancer and pediatric cancer is very close to my heart. I saw them, I love them, and then when I found out what they were for, I couldn't resist. All right guys, that's it for today. I have a lot more to share with you, so be sure to check